Joelle Harding here, getting ready for another great day of teaching. We will be using a coat hanger today. So everybody can do this. You grab a hanger that's either plastic or made of wood, but it's a larger hanger. I'm gonna come up close to show you how that looks there. So see how it's upside down? And this leg of the hanger is right up against the inside of the forearm. That's what we're looking for. So I want us to take just short little swings, maybe four o'clock to eight o'clock. Feet are at six o'clock. Four o'clock to eight o'clock. Maintain the contact of that leg of the hanger with the inside of the arm. What that will do for you is what we see all the great players in the world as they're coming into the impact position. We've got that beautiful lowercase y from the lead shoulder down the hands through the shaft to the club head hands are on lead thigh as we're coming through here instead of what we see sometimes is this situation so the hands are more in the middle of the body or even perhaps on the trail thigh so we do not want to have the club head passing the hands that's key so we're in here balls are teed up and maybe you're just taking some swings like this or at home super slow motion swings just getting set up looking at the mind body connection there i'm going to show you from the side another thing that this is great for when you're practicing at home is just notice or on the range just notice where the hands are going on the back swing notice that they are staying on the toe line they are not moving away from or behind the body so the toes are your guide there have the hands go right along the toe line that's all we need to do quite simply a little bit of motion there perhaps all right so a little shot very small maintaining that contact there that's what you want to do so the other device we have for you today is a smartphone holder I'll put a link in the description below it is listed in my other longer video on golf training aids but I wanted to show you what it looks like today on this training stake it's really nice because you can set it up behind you to take the down line swing set it up in front of you. you can use it with the putting you can move this all the way down to the bottom and adjust it so that you can see what's happening with your putter head, with your lower body, and you can see what's happening with that club face as well. So, so many uses for this, around 20 bucks, you can find them everywhere. And uh, it's very, very useful so that you can see what's happening in your swing and in your short game and in your putting, use it everywhere.